So, uh, Brandon Ingram is back, it looks like. So, thank you. We need Brandon Ingram. We've been on a five-game losing streak. It's time to start winning again. We need Brandon Ingram and Zion back. So, thank you for that, for the trainers who have healed Brandon Ingram to get back. Hopefully, he's back in the rhythm tonight. It should be in the starting lineup for the Pels fans out there like me. But, we should be getting good soon. We are on a five-game losing streak and need to end that streak. But, good news is, Brandon Ingram is back. Anyway, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the Sports Lovers where we talk everything in sports. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the SEC matchups tonight in college basketball and previewing the SEC Big 12 Challenge that will be taking place on Saturday between six or seven different SEC teams. We'll go over, go over all that in today's video, but first, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys want to stay up to date on all the latest sports news. Anyway, the first SEC game tonight, at least there are four SEC games tonight, and then we'll get to the Big 12 Challenge. So, if you guys would like to, you guys can skip to the end to see the main point of the video. But, the first SEC game tonight is Florida versus South Carolina. I believe Florida will come out hot at home. I just think Florida's the better team here, again. It's at Florida's place, and, uh, and I don't know what else to say. Florida played Auburn great on the road as well. I expect them to do that against South Carolina tonight, so I am taking Florida here. Up next, we have Tennessee hosting Georgia. This should be a blowout for Tennessee. Georgia's not very good. They're 13-6, and six, which isn't terrible, but I expect Tennessee to prevail at home. They're number four in the country, and they also are hosting the Georgia Bulldogs. So I expect Tennessee to win this game at home. Moving on to the two primetime games, we'll talk about Alabama first before we get into the Auburn Tigers, but... Alabama is hosting Mississippi State. Mississippi State isn't bad. They're 12 and 7 right now on the air, but Alabama is 17 and 2. They are not that bad either. They are looking good as of late, and I expect that to continue tonight at home in Cold Col Coliseum on the SEC Network. I don't know why this isn't on ESPN2 instead, but I do have. I will pick Alabama here to win this game because Brandon Miller is elite. He's going to be a top five draft pick as well. Uh, Petty is also good. I believe he's still on the team. They're, they're losing a lot of seniors this year, but they should still find a way to beat Mississippi State tonight. Moving on to the last and final game of the day. It is the Auburn Tigers hosting your Texas A&M Aggies for our win streak on the line. We need to get this win to keep that nation hot streak. We are on a 28-game home winning streak, the longest active streak in the country thanks to Gonzaga's loss. I expect Wendell Green to stay hot tonight. I expect Jalen Williams to do what he did last weekend against Mississippi State tonight as well. So Jalen Green, Williams, and I expect Katie Johnson to get a little bit of boards and Janai Broom to get some boards as well tonight. So overall, I just think Auburn needs to will win this game easily. This will be for second place in the SEC, I believe, behind Alabama. And we host Alabama in two weeks. So we should be getting ready for that game as well. Auburn will take the dub here tonight. So, just to recap, the four games that we have tonight, Florida, Tennessee, Alabama, and Auburn. All the home, I'm picking all the home teams tonight, surprisingly, but it's just who the better teams are tonight. Moving on to the SEC Big 12 Challenge. Now, all the matchups are set. I'm going to go through the matchups. We'll talk about that Tennessee and Texas matchup at the end of the, at the, end of the video because that is going to be the primetime matchup as well. The first game is Alabama at Oklahoma. Now, Oklahoma isn't very good, but and Alabama is the number two in the country right now. I expect Alabama to beat the, to beat the Oklahoma Sooners on the road. It is going to be a tough environment for Alabama, but one win for the SEC right there in Alabama, and Alabama wins. Moving on, Arkansas at Baylor. Now, that's going to be a good game. Baylor lost to TCU. They got blown out, maybe. I think Baylor finds the bounce back win over Arkansas. Arkansas is not very good as of late, but I do expect it to be close. One and one for the SEC Big 12 Challenge. I believe that Baylor is going to beat Arkansas. Moving on, Auburn and West Florida. I never pick against my boys, but I'm going to pick Auburn here. You thought, guys. Auburn is going to beat AM tonight, and then they're going to prevail on the road. They struggle on the road a little bit, but. I expect us to beat West Virginia, who isn't very good this year as well. 2-1 and one for the SEC so far. Moving on, Florida and Kansas State. I believe Kansas State will win just because they're the ranked team here, and they are hosting the Florida Gators. 2-2 two and two for the SEC. Kansas State wins this game. They are ranked 
they have been good as of late. They beat TCU. They beat Baylor. They beat Kansas. So, obviously, a bunch of great wins for Kansas State this as of late, and I believe that that will continue against Florida 2-2 two two for the SEC so far. Moving on is Kansas and Kentucky. That shouldn't be a problem for Kansas. Kansas should take care of business there. 3-2 and two for the Big 12. The Big 12 is ahead. 3-2 and two now. Moving on, Texas Tech, LSU. I expect LSU to get a bounce back win this week. I know they lost last week to Alabama. I expect them to get the win here against Texas Tech. Texas Tech has been looking hot, though. Don't count them out. But I believe LSU per should prevail as it is at home as well. 3-3. Three and three. Up next, we do have Ole Miss going into the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Oklahoma State's the better team here. I'm picking Oklahoma State 4-3. and three. Moving on is TCU at Mississippi State, and that is about to round out everything. Obviously, I'm going to pick TCU to win this game because they are the ranked team, but State is hosting. we got two more games to pick, 5-3 and three for the SEC. Up next is Iowa State at Missouri. Missouri is really good this year. Don't count Missouri out, but Ohio, Iowa State is also good this year for whatever reason. They are very good as well. But I am going to pick the Missouri Tigers at home to win this game. 5-4 and four for the SEC. The last game of the Big 12 SEC Challenge is going to be a good one. Texas at Tennessee. Tennessee looks like the better team here. Texas has been losing. They've lost their coach. And now they've started to lose. I still expect it to be a very close back and forth game. But I believe it will be 5-5 five and five total. And I believe Tennessee will prevail this weekend to hopefully tie it up for the SEC Big 12 Challenge. Maybe there will be an upset for Mississippi State, so the SEC will take the challenge, but I don't think that will happen as Tennessee will most likely get the dub here against Texas. That is going to be all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video previewing college basketball SEC games tonight and the SEC Big 12 Challenge preview. Can't wait for that this weekend. It's going to be a heck of a weekend for college basketball. First full... <clears throat> second full college basketball weekend, excuse me, I believe. And yeah, that's just all for today's video. Thank you. Let me know what you guys think about these picks in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Let me know who wins the SEC Big 12 Challenge this weekend as well. You got the Big 10 or the SEC, the Big 12 or the SEC. Let me know in the comments. I personally like the SEC to win. I would hope the SEC wins, but maybe 5-5 five and five for my pick. So, who am I to judge? I just know college basketball a little bit. So let me know in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to hop off and late as gayest.